Good morning, welcome back to another video, and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. So for the last few days, I have been farming up the parts to the Mechaneer's Chopper. This includes 720 titanium ore, 120 eternal fire, eternal shadow, and eternal earth, along with 400 cobalt ore and 20 arctic fur. We finally did it last night. Well, we did it yesterday, but you get the point. We finished it last night. That's not the point. We have finally got all the parts. We have crafted them into our, their respective things, such as their Titan steel, their handful of cobalt bolts, and also got hold of the parts for the actual craft. Now, the reason I did that is because it takes a bloody long time to craft this thing. But there is one silver lining towards this long craft. Now, we said we were gonna make 10 vial of the sands. We've done that, and they're selling quite well. We also said that we're going to be doing 10 mechanized choppers. Yes, we are making 10 mechanized choppers, but the reason I bulk the mechanized chopper as well as the vial of the sands, the, the reason being for the vial of the sands is it sells quite fast, so that's why I wanna have a bulk of them so then I can constantly keep a nice little cell flow going and then with the mechanized chopper this one actually can proc this is like one of the only mounts that can actually proc when it's being crafted so it can either proc either creating the one or it can proc a two so what I was thinking is if we bulk it we can also get that additional gold so at the moment the mechanized chopper is at 51,000 gold on my realm on a Mimbile and 35,000 gold on the market value. If it procs that mechanist chopper to create a two of them, I essentially get a free 35k. So that's why I bulk the mechanist chopper and make 10 of these because at the end of the day, if I craft 10 and I get two, then I get a free 35k worth of a mount. And at the end of the day, it's worth bulking the Mechanist Chopper for just that fact alone because it just gives you additional loot for putting all the legwork in. Now, for obvious reasons, the other few bits that you actually can do to get a hold of the engineering parts for this, which is the salvaged iron golem part, the elementium plate exhaust pipe, and the goblin machined piston is located in K2, which is in Storm Peaks. I always say that it is, store, uh, it is K2 and it's actually K3, which is located at the bottom of the map. So, that being the case, that is basically what's actually going on. So overall, that is pretty damn good. I'm very, very happy with the way things are going. And yeah, I could not complain in the slightest. Now, for obvious reasons, the Mechanist Chopper is gonna take a while to craft all 10 of our mounts. And yeah, it's, uh, it's looking like it's gonna be a good one because at the end of the day, I really just want that proc. If it can just proc once, then I can prove my point. But it does have a chance of proccing. I don't know what the proc chance is, mind you, but right off the top of my head, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's fairly low, but it can do it. So, <laughs> so I believe after all the times I've actually done the Mechanist Chopper, uh, craft, I've managed to get like four procs in that time since crafting the Mechanist Chopper every single time. So that's something you may want to bear in mind that the more you can bulk, the, uh, the obviously the more you do, the more you have a chance of procking. And I just like to do it in one massive batch because then it works out even better. So that being the case, we don't have a proc just yet. We're on number five, so we're halfway. Hopefully we can get a prop, that would be awesome. But aside from that, the other things of note, if I just grab my executive assistant and move it over here. By the way, this thing here guys, if you're new to the channel, I have to put down a guide on it, but it, it is called executive assistant and it's basically like a daily planner that I do. So the next thing of note that we're wanting to do once we've crafted the mechanist choppers, is we've done the 10 and we're going to replenish our vial of the sands. In that time, 
I will be doing the quests to try and get hold of the ATV mount so you know where you stand right there because I want to make the, either the steel bound harness or the ATV. I want to make 10 more of those in the meantime of the next downtime for the next after the next batch of Barn of the Sands. So every time those guys sell lower so than the Vile of the Sands, so it just makes sense that I just do a prep for the Vile of the Sands, sell those, and while they're selling, I stock up on a load of other mounts moving forward. So it just makes a lot more sense for me. But other than that, I do need to get my rep up. I've been doing my daily quest on my rogue, who is my alchemist for the Vile of the Sands to reduce the cost of it, because then we can then pull in more gold overall, because obviously a gold reduction in any crafted mount is definitely going to be very helpful. And yeah, it should be nicer to actually do that. So that being the case, that is what I'm gonna be doing. Also, I will be doubling down on a few guides uh, in the next upcoming days. They are gonna be tech, they are going to be TSM specific and I think it's like three guides I'm going to be doing and they're basically going to be covering your groups and your postings and your mailing along with your crafting so it's just a simple to understand guide on how to get yourself set up if you're a noob because I hear a lot of people on the discord come in on there and they go I don't know how to use TSM well I've decided to make some guides for that along with something to do with servers and that is the part of it so we didn't actually get any procs we finished our craft but we still have well we've got 10 mechanized choppers in our bags let's value that it's at 515,000 golds worth of amount yeah let's try and see if we can actually sell those and we can send those over to giblet because obviously giblet is op and yeah he is definitely well worth my time we just send those all out so we've just sent those over to giblet and that is pretty much it for dalla gg with his engineering so, so that being the case let's get into the gold for the day now the gold for the day is a healthy 130,216 gold let's pull in those mechanized choppers before we start this and the things that we actually sold is 30 of them, 30 males or something. And that being the case, let's get into the items of note, which is 100 kebab, which is 8,506 gold. The, we also sold some pyrite ore, 36 of that, that was from yesterday's farm, 2,225. Along with Vantis Runes of Nihilofa of the Waking City, which is 3,420 gold along with Highborn Compendium of Storms, 1,412, and we sold three of them. Along with Highborn Compendiums of Mystical Bulwark, we sold pretty much all of them for 1,342 uh, 1, gold a piece, and that's like 200 gold profit on those, by the way, just so you know. And that is, the next one is Depleted Kyperion Rocket. It's taken a while to sell, but we finally sold all of them of the depleted Kyperion rockets. I'm not going to be crafting those again because they do not sell well on this realm. Um, that is 84,449 gold. So we've definitely made a profit on it, but it's just taken a lot longer to sell this like particular mount. Now, the other thing of note is one of our crafted transmogs, which was dark iron gauntlets. We sold 12 we sold one for 12,151 gold, bringing our title up to 130,216 gold for the day, which is a hefty chunk. Obviously, I lost a bit of gold yesterday because I was doing my restocking, but overall, we're pulling in some sizable amount of gold, and we're definitely on the rise to bringing all of that gold investment back. We are currently halfway from where we were, so that is 393,715 gold. And with the other 500 and odd golds worth, 515,000 golds worth of mechanized choppers, we're going to bung those on the auction house and make sure that they sell, because for obvious reasons, if they're not on the auction house, they will not sell. There is one thing that I forgot to mention, is we've got to add this into our farm to craft amounts and then we can sell it. So, that being the case, let's just do that. And then we scan the mechanist chopper and just post one 
and two and then skip all of the others because we don't want to sell any more than two so we're going to put those in our guild bank now obviously you're wondering why i'm in my garrison i was doing squirt day yesterday for battle pet leveling and i have my little bad wolf he's right here hello little bad wolf basically i got into a bit of battle pet um I basically I've, I've gotten into a little bit of battle pet stuff and um, yeah it's uh, kind of fun and we just gained some gold on some stuff I don't want to delete that but other than that that is basically all that I have to say for the day I am pretty much bored of doing doing the map farming at the moment so I'm probably gonna do an easy one today for albino cave fish most probably and then I'll go from there other than that guys that is pretty much what I have to say for the day we pulled in a lovely amount of gold we've created all 10 mechanist choppers so have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow